Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Do brass bridge pins make a difference in the sound of your acoustic guitar? We're about to find out. So you've heard the before, you've heard the after. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I think they work. They actually do brighten things up a bit. Now these are Elixir NanoWeb Phosphorus Bronze Coated Strings, 1253 gauge. Definitely not what would come with a Fender guitar. They usually come pre-installed on Taylor's. But um, yeah, I mean, I love Elixir strings as it is, and they sounded great even with the plastic pins, but yeah, this thing actually gets a whole new lease on life with these. And not only does it sound really good, it also actually looks a little bit more classier, you know? For, for basically about, I think I paid like maybe 10 bucks for these. They weren't that expensive. Because um, I ordered these and I ordered some other stuff from Wish. The whole bill was like 24 bucks with shipping. Uh, actually got them be ahead of schedule too, which is quite good. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, they work. So if you want to brighten up your guitar a little bit more, um, you know, because a lot of people will use strings that die out quicker. Um, and it's kind of like, well, you know, the cost of strings at, you know, I mean, average seven to $10 a pack or, you know, $24 a pack for elixirs. I mean, they get expensive, right? Either way, um, this is going to help you to give extra playing time out of your guitar too before having to change your strings. So it will actually cut your expenses back per year on strings, right? Especially if you are changing your strings one or two times a year. So instead of changing them every year, if you're a once a year kind of changer, then maybe every year and a half, we'll say, is you know, roughly, right? Um, with the elixirs, I usually get, even with plastic pins in my guitars, I usually get an easy year out of a set of elixirs. Um, but that's the brand I, I, I generally use, right? Um, and, um, but uh, this would extend that time period even longer now. Um, and it's still going to keep things bright, you know, and it brightens the back up. It's like having a brand new set of strings on the guitar again. So cheap investment, classes up the look of your guitar a bit too at the same time. They're gonna last for pff, virtually probably forever. I mean, they are metal. Um, plastic stuff, I mean, come on, plastic, it gulls, it eventually gets so old that it'll just shatter. That's a problem with plastic. This is why I prefer tusk pins or bone, um, you know, because they're gonna last longer, right? But I thought I'd experiment with these brass pins and see because uh, a friend of mine uses them on his guitar, and uh, mind you, his are different and a lot heavier duty too. Um, and it works, right? So, and I was like, well, I'll give it a shot. I'll see what it's like. And you know what? I like it. I wouldn't say I get to switch all my guitars to brass pins because that's not going to happen. Uh, but this one certainly, yeah, that, uh, this is a good experiment. It went well. So, there you go, guys, girls. Um, check out a set of these things. You can probably get them on Amazon, but I got mine from Wish with really dirt cheap uh, shipping on uh, my entire order. And um, yeah, give them a shot and see if you like them. You're either gonna like them or not like them. I mean, it's just the way it's gonna go. And every guitar is gonna be different too, how it reacts. This is a Fender CC60. 
And this is how it reacts on those. You've heard the before. And this is the after. So there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And see ya.